In their first season, a basketball team practices for 45 minutes per day and makes 199 free throws. The next season, they practice 55 minutes per day and they make 240 free throws, which is true about the rate of change from the first to the second season. So let's actually find the rate of change. Here's the formula for rate of change, F of B minus F of A over B minus A. Now in this case, A could be 45, which means when I plug in, quote unquote, 45, I get out F of A, which is 199. So B would be 55, and when I plug in B, I get 240, which is F of B. I know you can barely see that, but you get the idea. So F of B is 240 minus F of A, which is 199, over 55, which is B, minus 45, so what, 241 over 10 rounds out nicely to 4.1 or 4 if we're rounding, rounding. So let's figure out what we're supposed to do. The rate of change is negative, no. The rate of change is positive since the free throws were all positive numbers in both seasons. Well, free throws are always going to be positive, so that's not why it's positive. You're not going to have negative free throws. It's ridiculous. The rate of change is constant since the practice time and the number of free throws is both increased. That's not necessarily true. The rate of change is positive since the practice time and the number of free throws both increased. That's my guy. So even though some of these has some truths to it, it's not completely true like D is. And even though I didn't have to do that much, I did it anyway, and it was fun. So much fun. Section 1.2, rate of change.